hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not new welcome back to the channel i hope y'all doing well welcome back to the channel my lovely family bristol cartel we're gonna do that again because i choked on my spit hey y'all how's it going my name's armani this is my channel life with bristol if you're new here welcome if you're not new here welcome back i hope y'all are doing well welcome back to the family welcome back to the channel my lovely family bristol cartel we just gonna leave it at that because i'm not gonna redo it again down video um just really quick it's not gonna be too long one is just gonna be part q a and then the other half is introducing y'all to vlogtober and what exactly it is so to start off i'm gonna go ahead and introduce vlogtober is something that youtubers do if you're vlogging if y'all see bentley's head please don't mind him um he thinks i'm talking to him anytime i talk to a camera or somebody else on the phone but yes, Vlogtober is basically where content creators on YouTube put out, push out videos for the entire month of whatever they're doing it for. So for me, I'm doing it for the month of October because one, is Libra season, okay, period. Two, it's my birthday and I'm turning 24. Three, I started my YouTube channel this year, so why not do it this year? And four, because I feel like Christmas is going to be hectic, so I'm not trying to do Vlogmas. We'll see how Vlogtober goes, and then we'll do Vlogmas. But, yeah, so just to let y'all know, that's basically what it is. I'm, I'm going to be posting videos throughout the whole month of October. Just to give y'all an example of what's to come to make sure y'all are notified. Make sure y'all are subscribed. Make sure y'all like this video, okay? And make sure you share it. That's how we... See, I knew it was going to come up here at some point. Um, make sure you share it. That's exactly how we grow our channel. We are on the road to 100 subscribers so let's make sure y'all sharing the video make sure you're liking it that's how youtube's gonna push the videos out okay if you haven't done it for all the other videos make sure you go back and do it okay great for vlogtober i got a bunch of videos coming up um i'm gonna try to do a paint with us video with me and hubby and y'all just chill with us while we paint and then i got a decorating the house and fall stuff just because i want to buy some fall decor and then haunted i want to do a haunted house video with the fam because every year with honey and his family we always go to the haunted house or a haunted trail or something of the sorts and it's been fun as well as i'm gonna react to a ghost video i'm gonna do a birthday vlog i'm gonna do a get ready with me for my birthday type thing so y'all just stay tuned for all the videos that are gonna be coming out oh it's also our anniversary this month it will be five years on october 29th so stay tuned for that too make sure y'all are supporting all the black love okay um, i did ask some questions on instagram and some y'all went ahead and dropped a lot of questions some y'all dropped a few questions i really appreciate who did drop questions so i'm gonna go ahead and start reading them off just because like i said i don't want this video to be too freaking long um the first question I have, what is one thing I try to implement daily? Um, there's a lot of things I've been trying to implement daily as of lately, but I will definitely say um, having that time to be quiet or be to myself, whether it's just meditating, whether it's journaling, whether it's showing gratitude to, you know, God and the universe, whether it's, you know, that type of thing. I definitely try to implement that daily because I feel like when I don't have that that time and I'm surrounded by people constantly you know what I'm saying I start to go on autopilot and just do what I need to do for other people but I don't take the time out to like sit back you know okay is you know get myself in check and like be like is, is you okay type thing you know like I, I, I tend to do that. I put myself on autopilot. So now it's something that I even I will take just a mindful moment, a mindful minute, whatever the case may be. I really don't care. I'll just take a mindful minute or a mindful moment. And it's something that's really helped me a lot, especially with my anger problems. So what are your plans for your birthday? Um, to be honest, I don't have any plans for my birthday besides Vlogtober, really. And my gift from y'all would be to share like comment and subscribe but that's nothing that's 
but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I don't really plan stuff for my birthday. My 21st birthday went pretty... I'll say ever since my parents' incarceration and stuff like that, I don't... I don't plan for my birthdays like I should. Um, I was not expecting to get emotional. I don't really plan my birthdays like that just because they didn't feel the same. So I didn't really, I didn't really care for it. And then when I did try to make it feel like that, there were different people that would um, just make it seem less special. So like people gossiping outside the hallway or people showing up drunk and then not showing up to the event. So it was like, it was stuff like that. So I don't really plan my birthdays no more just because I notice when I get other people involved, it don't ever turn out how I want it to or it doesn't turn out how I expect it to. And I'm one of those people that's like, I'd rather cut out all the bullshit and get drunk by myself or get drunk with like some close intimate people and call it a day than to do a whole extravaganza. So I'm not doing much for my birthday. I know my mom asked me what places I wanted to go out to eat at. Um, so I'll probably, she'll probably come down. We'll probably go to dinner. But, um, yeah. And plus it's on a Wednesday, October the 13th. It's on a Wednesday this year. So it'd be cool if it was on a Friday but it's on a Wednesday this year so I, I personally I ain't got nothing to do I'm gonna be at work making money I'm gonna try to make some bonuses this month and that's gonna be that's gonna be that that's gonna be that but however if any of your creators in the south if y'all wanna get live with me that weekend we can do that too so a lot of y'all ask me how am I mentally or how have I, how am I mentally how am I physically physically I'm good um I do see age starting to set in with popping here and there and you know hips popping here and here shoulders elbows knees wrists ankles all that um i'm popping here and there and i'm kind of like whatever um but yeah i've been trying to do yoga to combat like feeling stiff and stuff like that because i do feel that here and there i do feel that more often um definitely been trying to stretch even if i'm not doing yoga per se yoga is technically stretching just I guess really like focused or in tune or whatever so I make sure I try to do like a find some 10 or 5 minute stretch um, on YouTube or I'll find like something like that in addition to that for the mental I'll find a guided medita meditation um, and that's usually on this app called insight timer I love it my friend that used to work the when I worked at Wells Fargo she told me about it so I absolutely love it they have guided meditations up there they have so many of them that's how I am physically mentally I'm good I'm gonna be real I'm in a I'm in a 360 space from where I was two years ago a year and a half ago I'm in a complete 360 space and it's honestly when I decided I didn't even realize mentally I didn't even realize mentally that I had decided to start going on a spiritual journey, but I did, I guess. So ever since I started that, changing, being more mindful of my thoughts, being more mindful of how I'm talking to myself, being more mindful of, okay, you can only control this situation. The rest of this is bullshit because you can't control it. Okay, so don't think about it. Don't put your energy into it. Don't put your time into it. Me starting my spiritual spiritual journey has helped me mentally um, with creating boundaries, understanding, and learning who I am. Because I will say, with the lifestyle I've lived and lifestyle I lived and being very privileged, I used to second guess: Are these people my friend, or are they here because I got all this nice? <laughs> like and that they know that if they needed some money I'll give it to them because you know it's not that big of a deal so you know unlearning unteaching myself there's still a lot of stuff that gets kind of hard for me to talk about obviously as y'all can see but it's definitely way better than what it used to be so I'm very proud and I'm going to continue on it but yeah we're going to move on to the next question um <laughs> did you ask where have I been um really I've been here I should have been recording. Actually, I'm not even going to do myself like that. I have been recording. To y'all that have been around me, I have been recording, okay? My phone has lost storage. I don't know if y'all heard in the vlog from Vlogtober Day 1 um, that my phone lost storage. It's like full. I have a 256 gigabyte iPhone. It's full. Um, 
my it was to the point where I wasn't even getting picture messages and it would I would have to download it because I couldn't I couldn't open them um my computer lost storage I had to buy an, an external hard drive um and then on top of that I just had a hard time editing I feel like my editing skills wasn't there granted that's no excuse it shouldn't have stopped me but we're back and we're better now so that's all that matters what did I want to be growing up that's funny um I didn't really want to be anything but an entrepreneur. Um, I know that working for somebody else is not me. My parents made, they started four, six, six. They started six businesses. And being able to be with my parents all the time, if I wasn't in school, it was nice. Being able to get up and fly to Miami if we want to for the weekend, it was nice. Being able to... Um, being able to, you know, take trips, do this, that, and the third, bring bring your kids, friends along, it was nice. So I will say they did set the expectations high. They've always been my parents have all well, first of all, my dad came here as an as an illegal immigrant. And, you know, I've had an amazing life. So I already know that I've never been raised as one of those people that, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. He didn't even have a social security number, let's be real. So considering I have that, I'm f***ing unstoppable, okay? Y'all can't tell me, no, you can't do this. No, you might not be, no, none of that. We ain't hearing none of that. We ain't hearing none of that, none of that. Keep your negative projections over there. If you think you can't do it or you think it's not for you, that's fine. Moving on. You speak Spanish so well. Are your, are your parents, um, are you Latina? Are your parents Latina? By the geographical definition, yes, I am Latina. My dad is from South America. He's from Guyana. He's from a Latin American country. He is, therefore, I'm Latina. Am I Hispanic or do I speak my, nat normally do I speak a, like, Spanish? No, I don't. I'm not Hispanic. I'm a Latina and my parents don't speak Spanish. Um, what made you study communications? Like I said, who can undeny Olivia Pope? Like, come on now. Come on now. She She's the one, two, three info. Like, yes. Why do you love your city? If y'all ain't know, we from Charlotte. Honey wants to say Weddington. Whatever, I'm from Weddington too. Um, honestly, I don't know why I like Charlotte. As I'm growing up, I'm starting to understand more, I guess, what is nice about Charlotte. Um, we, we have the good... I'll tell you this, we got a good feel of everything. You can be in the city or you can be on the outskirts of the city. You can even be in like Davidson, which is 30 to 45 minutes away, or the real, real suburbs like Weddington, like Monroe, like Rock Hill, and you can still have that experience and that feel. Like even if you're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, you are technically right there on the border of North Carolina. So like you can even still drive to Charlotte and come chill. I can go to Raleigh, I can go to the beach, I can go to the mountains. I can go everywhere. We got lakes. Like, it's just everywhere within a radius. And it's not as crowded as Atlanta. I'm going to say not yet. Because there's a lot of y'all moving here. But it's not as crowded as Atlanta. It's not as busy as New York. But you still have stuff going on. The one con, I will say, stuff don't stay open late. And that kind of be making me mad. Granted, it's COVID or whatever. But that be pissing me off. Like, New York, you can go out somewhere. We can leave the house at 1130 and still be able to have a good three or four hours to have fun outside the house. I will say that is one con about Charlotte. I don't like that it doesn't, that clubs and stuff only stay open until 2. I mean, granted, I guess it helps with um, crime and stuff. But we trying to be outside. Um, if you could do a birthday getaway for your 25th, where would you go and why? That's hard. Um, <laughs> I've been to LA. Um, I heard New Orleans smells and I'd be going in October. So don't nobody want to do that. I've been to Miami. <clears throat> if I was going to do a birthday getaway for my 25th. I would want to do a cruise if all this is cleared up if all this is cleared up I would love to do a cruise and I say a cruise because everybody I would be able to invite could get drunk could have fun have unlimited fun 
and nobody has to drive nobody has to drive nobody has to drive not only that everybody else on that boat is having fun for the same reason you are to have to get away from whatever we left back on land or either go to cabo i know it's a little bit more expensive than cancun but i would love to go to cabo porque yo puedo hablar español en cabo okay period o puerto rico what um, you gonna be sipping on for your birthday um well, since I got so many honey trying to treat me, we're going to be off the do say, okay? Because we, wait, let me take that back because North Carolina been tripping. If we can go to, if y'all don't know, uh, it's about to sound real weird, but if you're from Charlotte or you're from right there by Carowinds, we going to Frugal McDougal and I'm going to hope that they got some do say. I'm going to hope that they got some do say because the ABC store around here been tripping lately and they haven't been having brown. So that's been making us upset. It's making my, me and my homegirls upset. Because if you ain't got brown, what the hell am I supposed to drink? What's your favorite food? Curry chicken. Only made by my daddy. Everybody else, curry chicken is weak. What are three goals you want to achieve by the end of the year? One is definitely to consistently post on my on my vlog channel. To um consistently post on YouTube. Two, get my editing skills up. And then three, I guess, relaunch my media business. Because... Yeah, if y'all are interested in checking out the website for that, it will be linked down below. As well as my tutoring business is linked down below. <laughs> How tall is your boyfriend? I don't know. Why does it matter? Six, five? I don't know what his driver's license said, but I'm going to say he's six, five. I think he's six, five. I'm going to go with six, five. If I'm wrong, shit, close enough. When was the last time you did something for the first time and what was it? weekend with Deja and Dion and William and Adrian but yeah I can't think of anything else really I've lived a pretty eventful life none how many siblings do you have six I am one out of seven how did you and Zoe meet if y'all want an actual video for that, I'm not going to answer that question in this one. Um, if anything, y'all could, y'all like this video and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if y'all want to see a video um, of me and Zoe answering y'all's questions. I will let y'all know he's not a super talkative person if you don't know him. Um, so in front of the camera, he might not be super talkative. It just kind of depends on his mood. And watch me say that and then he's super talkative in the video um, but what yeah. is one thing you want to change or commit to this year that you didn't do too much uh didn't do too much or care about previously and why something that i am doing a lot more this year that i did not do previously was getting rid of things that no longer serve me i am a sentimental person I am a very nice person. I overextend myself for anybody, even if it's like come hell or high water, I'm going to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you have to understand when something is draining you um, and understanding that creating boundaries with those people. And if they can't respect those boundaries or those or those they can if the people can't respect those boundaries, they got to go. And I don't owe them an explanation, especially if I've communicated it with them, because that is something that I worked on last year about becoming more vocal about what's bothering me, because I used to let shit slide. I used to let shit slide. And a lot of people be like, you're so aggressive now. You're so like, com and you like confrontational now. No, it's not that I'm confrontational. I'm letting you know that you're not going to play with me. And if I got to say it again, then it's not no longer a warning. Like, you're just not going to play with me. That's it. So I was very hesitant to confront people about stuff that will bother me and now I kind of don't care I'll be like so what's your problem let's address it because I don't understand what do you have to say to the people that shit on you and you were there for them I hope you're doing this is the growth talking before I get started I hope you're doing well um 
I hope you understand that I had to just cut you off because there was no point in explaining. And I feel like you know what you did. And if you're confused, that's too bad because I blocked you. Um, because there's nothing for us to really talk about. But I hope you're doing well and I hope you're advancing your life and all your future endeavors. No bad blood, just know that our time was ran out and we wasn't meant for each other. And that's on that. Next! Next. Anyway, um, what gift do you want slash expect for your B-Day? Um, only gift I'm expecting is this bonus because we started getting bonuses this month at work. So I'm expecting to upsell or do what I need to do for my clients so that I get these bonuses because we love a hard worker. Um, and I really didn't ask for gifts. I'm working on accepting things. I'm working on my energy of being able to accept stuff and not be like, no, that's doing too much considering I like to go above and beyond for other people. So I need to stop doing that. But, um... And so say he got a surprise for me. He got a bunch of surprises. So y'all will see those, I guess, on my birthday vlog. Okay, I promise y'all this is going to be the last clip because obviously my camera cannot stay on to save its life. So what do I want this next chapter to look like? Yeah, just a bunch of blessings, um, a bunch of new opportunities, a bunch of a bun a, just abundance of blessings, abundance of opportunities, abundance of money, and, you know, attracting all of everything that I want in my life. Um, do you feel like you're where you want to be for your age? I'm going to say no, but that's social media and the ego talking, if we're being honest, because I'm 23. I have an apartment that's got not one, but three bedrooms. Um... I, I got a lot. I got a lot. I have a car that doesn't have a car note. I'm just thankful for everything that I do have. And you know what? Social media be making us feel like we're not where we're supposed to be at this time and place. But let's be real. Like, a lot of our parents were still trying to figure this shit out at this age. There's no manual. There's no handbook. It is what it is at this point. And I just have learned that I've got to stop comparing my chapter 23 to somebody's like chapter 65 and it's like well they technically started while you was like at home playing sims so you can't be upset you know what i'm saying like you got to understand the actions they took may have been earlier in order for them to get where they are right now so that you don't don't feel bad don't feel bad yes i feel like i'm where i'm supposed to be for my age do i wish there were other things i would have accomplished by now yes but woulda shoulda coulda so we can't change that are you and last question what has been your most rewarding experience so far i will say all the people i've come in contact with since i started college have been so genuine so much love so much support at the time that i fucking needed it so everybody has came into my life thus far i'm very appreciative for everybody has helped me become where I'm at today besides my mother and my father and my fam my immediate family but yeah college was very hard due to what had just happened so yeah that's the last question I hope y'all enjoyed it peace I'm up now I don't give a fuck about my past bitch